Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm so excited to vlog today because I can finally, I feel like I haven't been able to fully vlog normally just because I wasn't able to tell you guys about the house and the situation. And now I feel like we're all on the same page and I'm excited about that. So it is, what is the day today? It is, is it Wednesday? I believe it's Wednesday. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday, Larry? Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Larry and Liam are having breakfast. I'm chatting with you guys really quick before I run out the door. I have an eye doctor appointment, which is kind of one of those things where I feel like I really don't want to go. I have stuff to do and stuff to get done, but I'm like, if I don't go and I have an issue with my contacts, then we're going to have a problem. Basically the contacts that I got are not working for me at all. I was literally just there, but they're having me come back in to have my vision rechecked and do the thing all over again, because the contacts are just, it's not my cup of tea. So anyways, we're going to be running out the door to do some errands. Father's Day weekend is coming up soon, which leads me to today's sponsor, which is manscaped.com. I am sure you may have heard of them and I'm very excited to talk to you guys about them, whether you want to make a purchase for your husband or your dad. I'm very excited to share these products. They are amazing and we need to appreciate the humor because it's, it's so good. If you guys are unfamiliar with Manscaped, Manscaped is a global men's lifestyle brand that has the right tools for all the right dads. Manscaped is trusted by 8 million people worldwide by their trimmers and their products and the formulations of these products are very incredible. They're soft, they're smooth, they smell great. And they're going to keep your husband and your dad smelling fresh and keeping that nice trim. Like if your husband has like mine, mustache, goatee kind of vibe, as does my dad, I believe. We have our weed whacker trimmer. <laughs> Like I said, the humor guys is fabulous for the nose hairs, the ear hairs, love the sleekness, love the hold, keeps focusing on my face, but the product design and just how it feels in the hand is incredible. And the Weed Whacker trimmer has a 360 rotary trimmer. So if you're noticing your dad or your hubby is showing a little too much ear hair, nose hair coming out the bottom, that's gonna make a fabulous gift for Father's Day. Larry's classic for that. Like baby got a little something, something over him, you know, that your hair, you know, so that'll keep them in check as well. And then we have the lawnmower, which is going to help keep them shaved down there. Also again, waterproof product. Love that. It's cordless and waterproof and comes with a cool wireless charging system that would make any dad or husband geek out. And why not give the Lawnmower 4.0 and the Weed Whacker 2.0 for Father's Day this year? Both tools are included in the Performance Package 4.0. The package includes Crop Preserver, Crop Reviver, and, and also comes with two free gifts. The products smell so good. And the Manscaped Boxer Briefs have a microfiber blend to keep things cool and no roll waistband. Essentially, Manscaped is basically a gift on top of a gift, which is gonna make the perfect Father's Day gift or the perfect husband gift for Father's Day. So don't wait, go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code MIXMIN20 at checkout. And again, that's 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code MIXMIN20 at checkout. Manscaped would be a great gift for your husband or for your dad for Father's Day. And Manscaped, thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's head out the door. Let's do the boring stuff first. And then we have, oh no. And then we have many of things to discuss and talk about, like with the kitchen, with things, with, with all the things. We have lots to talk about today. We have lots, we have lots to talk about. So buckle up because we're gonna get some updates going here. Hi, cutie. Hi. You wanna say hi? Hello. I am home from the eye doctor, so all is good, all is squared away. I exchanged the contact lenses to the contact lenses that I used to wear. So now that we're back home, let's sit down, discuss the kitchen and all of that, because I know a lot of you guys have been asking, well, what's going on with the rest of the kitchen? Are you still doing it? 
and all of that good stuff. So at the time that we started the granite project, we had zero intentions on moving. <laughs> zero at all. I was excited about Christmas in this kitchen and all of the things. So once we decided to put the house up for sale, uh, we talked to the realtor and she was like, the kitchen is great as is, hold off on painting the cabinets, don't need to do all the things. Plus we were only doing those things because that's what we wanted. We didn't see ourselves moving yet. So the plan with the kitchen is obviously, hold on, let me send you guys, or set you guys down. So the kitchen is staying as it is. We are not going forward with the projects. But again, as I said, like at the time of doing them, we thought we were going through with all the projects projects with the kitchen but we got we got halfway there technically not halfway there because we did the we were going to do the backsplash we and the, the, the painting we had a third of the way there so that is the scoop on that and i have packed up my office which is insane it feels so weird to sit in there and i didn't film like actually putting everything away and i should have but I did film a bit of like the before, like how the office looks. And I'll show you guys what it looks like now because it's just completely different. Even when I sit in there now where I look at the shelves, I'm like, oh my gosh. And it was amazing to have the shelves in there and to be able to display my Harry Potter collection and things that I had. But yeah it's all white and very bare and i was looking at it all empty and i was like gosh this is going to be a book lover's dream for anybody that has a work from home job that office is going to be great or if they have a child who is doing homeschooling there's a built-in desk in there it's just it's going to be great for somebody else if they choose to use it that way they could move in and choose to rip all of that out and make it into a um like a den or a dining or dining room a den or like a secondary place to sleep or a sitting room or a sitting room or whatever they want with it but i was looking at it thinking gosh all the books that somebody could put on there it just looks great you kind of see that vision so let me show you guys what you know have some footage of the office and how it looked and let's say a goodbye to the harry potter room because there is no harry potter room at all anymore <laughs> now here's what it looks like now so our shelves are empty we have boxes here this is all the stuff that I have packed this is not all Harry Potter um, boxes that are packed and not everything that was on these shelves are moving um, I've given a lot to my family so not everything is going. I will not have a room like to display or I'm, I, I could, but we're choosing not to have a room like this to display in the next house. So, but here, here's the empty, empty, empty. There used to be Harry Potter stuff up here. And then poor Dobby has been replaced by bubble wrap. <laughs> I still have a couple of items that are bigger items up here that I need to wrap up, but Yes, we have officially started packing up the house and this is the room where all of the boxes are at the moment. And it has been a very bittersweet kind of moment because I feel like I, I just think of, we went through the IVF journey in this house. We were, we carried Liam, like I was pregnant in this house. We brought Liam home for his first time in this house. So like I have those very big sentimental attachments to the house. And then I try to think, but, you know, the new house that we go to, that's where Liam will have all of his memories. So his first Christmases and, you know, his birthday parties and that kind of stuff. So I'm looking at it that way. I'm looking at it as new beginnings 
and it's gonna be great and this is also where my YouTube career started for the very first time. This is where I filmed my very first YouTube video. There's just so many blessings that this home has brought us and so much happiness that this home has brought us and it just feels strange to be moving on. We're very excited though to start the new journey and so excited to be able to bring you guys along with us for that journey. And like I said, like it has been a big struggle to vlog because <laughs> all this has been going on in the background for a little while. And if you saw Larry and I's announcement video, you'll know like from that video or if you want more details, I will link that video below so you guys can check that out if you did miss it. But it just, there's so much that goes into moving. So you can't really say, you know, you're moving when things aren't final because there are so many things that can happen with the sale of a house, like contracts, negotiations, inspections. Like it is a long journey. If you've sold a house, you know, it's a very long process. But now we are finally in a place where I can openly share, talk to you guys, keep you in the loop. I hate vlogging when you guys are not in the loop. It is not a wonderful thing. It is very hard for me to do. So we're all on the same page now. We're all in the same loop and we can be in the moment together. That's how I like to vlog. I like to be in the moment together. So yeah, with that being said, it's just so surreal to see the Harry Potter room looking like this. Let me know if you guys were here when these shelves were being built in. I can still remember when this room was used as a den. It had a bed in it and a desk and the Harry Potter stuff was all over the floor and it looked just insane. Also have taken this opportunity. I think I've spoken in quite a few previous vlogs that Larry and I have been doing some clear outs, some decluttering, and we're really stripping back with things that we have. So I think I mentioned in the last vlog that I decluttered a lot of my coffee mugs and I'm just stripping back. I just feel like I'm at a point in my life where less is more and that's my my goal. So yeah, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it. And when we've been donating a lot of the stuff that we've had in the house, it just feels like the house is so much lighter. I feel more focused. It feels so refreshing and it's just, it's just been great. It's been a lot of like hectic Ness, but also really great so again thank you guys for bearing with me and I'm just so happy to bring you guys along and thankful that you guys have been so sweet along the way and and have been here for the journey and the journey is about to get really intense this year there's a lot of things happening this year guys <laughs> more details to come on all of that stuff but I'm excited Yesterday I made myself a stir fry. I believe it was one of those P.F. Chang's frozen, I got the beef and broccoli. I think that's what it was called. So I had a extra bag of vegetables in the refrigerator, no that's a lie, in the freezer. So I added a whole extra bag to that which kind of prolongs the life of it. So I highly suggest doing that when you guys are making those kind of things. And then I added a bag of brown rice to it. So it's gonna last me a lot longer. But anyways, my whole point in telling you guys that is I'm currently warming it up to have it for lunch. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And the fun thing about the vegetables that I had in the freezer is they were actually Chinese vegetables. So it went perfect. It has those water crescents, which I usually don't like, but for some reason, are they called water crescents or are they water chestnuts? Like what are those? Anyways, they're those crunchy white veggies. It does not look that appetizing, but I promise it's good with a bit of hot sauce. Delicious. So funny story as I'm sitting here with Liam. Hi, Dad. Hi. Okay, so in my last girls chat video where I answered your guys' questions, we were talking about weaning and the fact that I was no longer pumping anymore. Well, here's the thing what happened. Something happened essentially. So when I filmed that video, I think I had gone like a week without pumping. And then I started getting like this pain that felt like a clogged milk duct. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding? And I'm like, of course the timing of that where I'm like, yep, I'm done, no pumping, all is well, weaned properly, life is great. No, I pumped three ounces. <laughs> so it's also very sore today and I can still feel it's clogged. So I'm gonna have to pump again today. 
It's so funny how that happens, the timing of that. It's like having an ailment, going to the doctor, scheduling an appointment, telling them that there's something wrong, and then when you get there, everything's fine, there's nothing wrong, and there's no evidence. I mean, that's how I felt, because I filmed that video, I told you guys, all was well, and then turns out, no, I have a clogged milk duct, and it needed to be taken care of. So, we're still taking care of that. I don't know why that happened, but it did. But I need to hop on my computer and do some editing. So let's head over and do that. Also, how weird is this wall? I used to have like the Quibbler and some Harry Potter quotes and some cute things up there. And then all my books, you guys remember all my books up there? And now I edit and do emails and all that fun stuff looking at <laughs> this white wall. So, you know, I love to have inspiring cute things. And now I have the white wall, but all for good reasons. Before I can sit down and do that though, I need to heat up my coffee, make myself another cup. I'm still at my three cups of coffee, guys. I was down to like two is my ideal, like what I like to have. But with life lately and things going on, coffee gives me comfort. Uh, uh, sometimes it triggers like anxiousness, if I must be honest. I think it's the the caffeine in it. But what I try to do, if I reach for my third cup of coffee, what I try to do is go for something that's lighter in caffeine, like this one, so it's a pumpkin spice. At least I assume that it's lighter because I love the blonde roast or the veranda bland, which, bland, <laughs> blend. I love this one, which is known to have the highest amount of caffeine, but it's the lightest roast caffeine. I can't speak today, guys. And then I've also been doing the Pike Place Roast by Starbucks, which I love. So once I have those two for the day, I move on to something that's a little bit lighter and flavored. I'm still doing, as I told you guys before, my barista oat milk. Love it, love frothing it, so delicious. And then I'm also trying not to purchase any new coffee K-cups because I have, I did the pantry clear out, which I told you guys, but I have a bowl filled with the K-Cups. Now, these are different flavors, so holiday blend. I have cinnamon or cinnamon roll blend in here. Like, I have so many, and I'm like, right, you are not allowed to purchase anything until you finish all of those. Plus, with the moving and everything, I don't want to really be purchasing other things and putting things in the pantry. So, that's the goal. Not, of course, finish all that coffee before we move, but just... Don't purchase anything else because you already have coffee. Even though it might not be your favorite choice, you already have it, so I'm using it before making any new purchases. All right, so with that being said, let's go for our third cup of the day, which I still haven't finished. Oh gosh, I have not finished my second cup of the day, so we're just gonna add the pumpkin spice to it. Every time, I'm not gonna lie, every time I make this pumpkin spice coffee, guys, I take a big deep whiff of it and it excites me for fall. And again, yes, we haven't even had, are we, oh my gosh, I don't even think we're gonna have a pool vlog here this summer. I don't think we will. Oh my gosh. See, that's when I get sad because you start thinking about when you had your last pool day. When I had our last pool day at the house, I had no idea that we would be moving. Oh, that's just so wild to think about. I always think about things like that. See, I'm a very, what is that called? Like an emotional, I, I have attachments to things like that. What is that called? Sentimental. I have very sentimental things when it comes to like clothing, stuffed animals, um, and just memories. I'm just a very sentimental person. It's not a bad thing though. I like it. Let me know in the comments. Are you sentimental or do you literally like, you do not hold any sentimental value for objects and memories like that. You just live your life. Let me know. All right, and then I'm just gonna add a splash of my creamer to that. Stir it up a bit. I should have added it first, but I didn't. That's not the right one. That one's the full one. I remember so many of you telling me about this a long, long time ago when I was trying to make the switch and I think I got like an oat milk and you guys were like, no, 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 no. You have to get the barista one because it's a lot more creamy and delicious and yummy. And I just gave up on it. Well, 
here we are years later from when you guys told me to get this one i got it and it is delicious and it does make a difference it is not at all normal almond milk normal oat milk it is it is much better so if you guys want to try this for your coffee this is the one that i get and it is good again it cuts out the sweetness though so don't expect it to be if you were a coffee mate girl like me uh don't expect that sweetness it does take a little bit to get used to but it is really good also what i will say about the there's the other one that i like too that froths up really well it's another popular one but they're really small what are those called what are those called what are they called i don't know if i have one i don't think i have one. Oh, i can't remember the name of it anyways the problem is is they're so small and you're supposed to use them within like 10 days is this like that oh consume in seven to 10 days after opening. That seems to be the thing with these. I have gone past the seven to day mark, seven to 10 day mark, and I haven't gotten sick. Although I don't want to recommend that to you guys, but I've been okay. Um, what is the name of it? They have the like marshmallow, the caramel. I've tried them. I've talked, nut pod. That's what it is. They froth really well in a frother. Again, not that sweet, but guys, I can go through one of those in three days and they're pricey, like they're expensive. So it's almost like it's not, it just doesn't make sense for me because I like a lot of creamer in my stuff. Anyway, however, with that being said, I still like them. I still enjoy them. And I ran out of creamer the other day. I added a splash of what I had left, which was the Coffee Mate Vanilla into my coffee and it was so, so sweet. Ask me again when it comes to the holiday season though, I might treat myself to a small pumpkin spice one or a small peppermint mocha one because how can you not? But I need a lot less. Whereas before I was like dumping three, four, five tablespoons in my coffee, which is a lot. And yeah, so it's been a journey. It has been a journey. Bippity? Bippity? 